Hey everyone, in a previous vid video we dealt with uh, basic ballistic trajectory calculations and we calculated the uh, vertical drop due to the uh, gravitational acceleration of the earth on the projectile. In this video we will factor in wind. We're gonna go and uh, progress from simple to more complex to impossible because wind can be impossible and uh, whirling and unpredictable and incalculable but uh, we'll leave those for last so uh, let's get started with the simple stuff situation one square wind and uh, this is what I mean by square wind here is your target setup and this is a top view top view means that you're looking at uh, like from an airplane or helicopter you're looking at a shooting range from a top so uh, that would be a person's uh, top of a person's head or hat and uh, a projectile is being shot from there to this point let's say the range is uh, uh, 10 meter distance mm. and uh, Let's say the uh, so that's that's distance, and let's say the uh, time it takes to travel is uh, one second. Okay, this is what I mean by square wind. We have a wind blowing here across the shooting range, and the wind speed is exactly two meters per second. That means that if your projectile is traveling for one second, that's the total flight time from release to impact, and your side wind is blowing at a speed of two meters for every second, for every second you'll be exactly two meters off target because your flight time is one second. So your trajectory will be off by exactly two meters okay uh, let's see another example on that one and that's where you're shooting from and that's where you're shooting to here is your target if you have a wind speed of 1.7 meters per sec and you calculated your flight time to be a three second flight time that means that uh, for every second you will be 1.7 meters away so you're gonna have to steer and aim into the wind but uh, for a three second flight time you will have to be you will be exactly just have to multiply these things three times 1.7 5.1 meters out because 3 times 1.7 is 5 meters out so you'll be somewhere there and you're gonna have to uh, correct and aim 5 meters or this angle you can then cal calculate and uh, that's that's an angle there uh, you're gonna have to uh, convert it to an angle and uh, aim that much into the wind but uh, most uh, most of us work with distances so I'm gonna stick with distances and uh, you're gonna have to have uh, sorry it's a 5.1 5.1 meters you have to uh, aim here to this side of the uh, target so you're aiming into the wind and that's a square wind situation it's fairly straightforward what you're basically doing you're grabbing time and you multiply it by speed and you're getting distance out of it that's uh, pretty straightforward as simple as can be it's uh, now it's not to uh, boost your uh, or destroy your self-esteem but uh, to reference it in to uh, grade material it's about grade uh, 9 or so in physics or I guess sciences would be the uh, right term in grade 8 or grade 9 and uh, that's when uh, that's where you can find uh, resource materials for if you uh, if you need a hand with this one and the equation that you find probably is velocity is calculated by distance over time 
and uh, if you check out uh, Khan Academy and uh, Algebra stuff then uh, that's how you can uh, reference these two equations in so that's how you calculate when you have a square wind now that doesn't always happen in fact rarely ever happens that the direction of the wind is square to the direction of the shooting so next situation will be the wind blowing at an angle and instead of an angle I'll just draw an angle there wind blowing at an angle and I'll show you how to calculate this uh, fairly simple we it's gonna be similar there's gonna be two quantities multiplied to get a third one to get distance but which two it needs a little bit of work for that you need to come on closer so you can look at the grids on the paper there and uh, I'm gonna show you something uh, just uh, play with me we're gonna do a uh, little red riding hood now let's see little red riding hood starts out there in the forest and say he walks in the forest say four four miles or four kilometers or four feet or four any kind of uh, units for distance let's go with four kilometers four kilometers north okay and then little red riding hood decides to go another direction and uh, and let me see and goes six uh, six kilometers to the east now if we want to describe little red riding hoods final position in relation to her initial position we would say that little red riding hood is uh, approximately because I don't want to do the math for this one but approximately seven kilometers away from where she started and uh, you would then give an angle to describe the bearing of Little Red Riding Hood. You could also describe it uh, going two ways that, uh, like she did, that uh, you go four kilometers north and six kilometers east and you're gonna find Little Red Riding Hood there, uh, collecting uh, or picking berries. Now, this one, works the same way with wind direction if you have a wind blowing in this direction at say seven meter per second uh, speed and you're trying to sh and you're trying to shoot in this oopsie sorry guys uh, about the wavy line so if you're trying to shoot in this general direction straight from here to this point here where the uh, target is set up and the wind is blowing at 7 meters per second in this general direction that means that the uh, side wind that your arrow is catching is gonna be this part the 4 meter per second part your arrow uh, subject or, or projectile subject to a 7 meter per second wind that that hits your uh, line of trajectory at an angle some part of this wind will make this part of uh, this wind will make your uh, trajectory to veer out this way and uh, and uh, this is the part that we are going to need to calculate out of uh, this wind direction here. To do this, we're going to need to have an angle and we're going to need to have a wind speed. Let me just get a new page here. And uh, let's do some calculation. So to calculate this side wind, let's say, let's just zoom out a little bit like that. 
So this is our line of trajectory, starting from there and ending there. And we have a uh, wind here blowing in this direction. And uh, see this angle here is, uh, let's say, uh, I don't know, 67 degrees. You're gonna have to measure this angle in field somehow. There's a couple of ways. You can either toss up some dirt and uh, guess uh, uh, from uh, from the direction the uh, handful of dirt is landing and try to eyeball this angle in, or you're gonna have to uh, come with a little uh, enamel matter and uh, measure the wind because this calculation cannot be done without that angle. You also need the uh, wind speed wind speed I just go wind V for velocity wind velocity you're gonna have to either measure it again with an instrument or toss up a handful of dirt and see how far it settles in how much time once you have <coughs> once you have again uh, a distance and a time you can calculate your wind speed or you're gonna have to measure it again uh, so uh, let's say we determine that this wind speed is uh, I don't know 1.7 meters per second and what we're doing here with the uh, wind is uh, this is how you reference it in when you wanna look it up this is uh, vector vector addition or vector resolution or resolving vectors so vector resolution okay into its uh, component vectors and uh, it's in uh, I saw it in uh, grade 11 physics or around that level now so we've got a wind speed and we've got an angle and this is the calculation that we do the sideways component of this vector is that we're gonna need to calculate I'm just gonna repeat this one here so this is a 1.7 and this is a 67 degree angle and when we want to calculate this part of the triangle because this forms here a right angle triangle we are gonna need let me see this 1.7 I'm gonna repeat it one more time just so you see where all this is coming from this is the hypotenuse of the triangle this is an angle given and then this is the adjacent side and this is the opposite side okay we've got hypotenuse given and we've got an angle given and we want to know adjacent so the uh, thing that we need is cosine of an angle equals sorry uh, that's my boo boo there how do we go it's uh, so ka toa if you remember this one so cosine has adjacent and hypotenuse in it and so that should be the adjacent divided by hypotenuse which is the same thing as we've got hypotenuse we've got an angle we want to solve it for adjacent adjacent is angle sorry cosine of an angle that's important multiplied by hypotenuse and you're gonna get an angle uh, uh, you're gonna get the uh, length of the adjacent out of it and this is how it goes cosine 67 times 1 point what did I say 1.7 equals that much so the length of the adjacent side is 0 0.66 meters that's the length of the adjacent side so that means that the actual side wind uh, that you are that your that the actual side wind the magnitude of the side wind or the magnitude of the sideways blowing component of this wind here is gonna be 0 0.66 meters per sec because it's wind okay 
and it's that's speed it works with speed it works with, this calculation works with forces it works with distance it works with uh, speed as well so uh, 0 0.66 meters per second is the uh, is the uh, value that you are gonna need and uh, if your flight to time flight is a flight uh, flight time time was uh, say two and a half seconds and you've got a side wind of 0 0.66 meters per second then you're gonna have to multiply these two together to get distance out of it so 2.5 multiplied by 0 0.66 equals 1.65 meters and this 1.65 meters as your decimal point it's a nice one but that's 1.65 meters means that uh, you're gonna have to uh, aim into the direction of the wind here 1.65 meters if you have a side wind of 1.7 meters per sec coming on a 67 degree angle and you have a flight time of two and a half seconds from point of release to point of impact okay that's how this uh, trajectory calculation looks like for side wind now the uh, nice thing from here on is that this can be applied for tailwind if you have a if you have a tailwind this is not a side wind anymore well it kinda is a tailwind as well but uh, if you have a uh, tailwind in the sense that uh, let me just draw a stick figure here somebody holding out uh, the uh, arrow and the arrow is flying this way and there's a target to be hit if you have a tailwind and uh, the tailwind is uh, coming on an angle slightly down within the shooting range you can still calculate the vertical component of this downwind now you might ask when the heck does the wind blow downwards believe me it does blow down and also it does blow up and I'll tell you when in a sec there's the other just the arrow it's flying there towards the target there and sometimes you got you've got a slight wind up a slight wind up okay it happens if you are in a patch of forest here where it's all shaded and this is an open field where hot air rises because it's sunny and hot hot air rises I'm telling you you're gonna have a wind countering gravity okay there is such thing as wind blowing up okay and uh, there is such thing as a wind blowing down when you are shooting uh, this one is uh, this one is a body of water when you are shooting across a body of water the land usually heats up faster than the water does and you've got rising air here that makes a convection current and you have sinking air masses above the body of water you will have wind direction that's also sinking that's also blowing uh, down as well and it's gonna be sinking your uh, uh, projectile okay so there is such thing as wind blowing up and wind blowing down as well as sideways so you can use all this uh, vector resolution calculations to uh, to do this math and uh, it applies in both both situations one last thing uh, if you have uh, whirling and changing wind directions say in an open field or uh, or above a body of water you have uh, whirlwinds or uh, changing directions you can't really calculate that but uh, do your best to calculate it but you might as well just lick your finger and stick it up into the wind and take your best shot at it.